oh, what do I love about Westville? The site is beautiful. I get a kick every time I come here. And the people involved are beautiful too. I'm Tom Parkinson and I'm chair of Westville Solar Cooperative. It is the first community-owned wind farm in southern England and the solar park when it was built was the first one of this scale anywhere in the UK. The main reason I got involved was climate change. Uh, it was an important issue 10 years ago, it's even more important now. And the other thing was actually yeah, trying to do something practical about it with other local community members. The wind and the solar farms came about yeah, largely through the energy and determination of the landlord, a guy called Adam Twine, who wanted to do something about climate change and wanted the local community to be in control of it. We're going to be generating kilowatts here, but actually we're doing more than that. This is about the opportunity for people to take control over local energy generation. The wind farm had quite a lot of issues with planning and some local opposition. People said it couldn't be done. It wouldn't make money, it wouldn't work. I think that took about 15 years through planning. Three years later, after the wind farm was up, we thought we should have some solar alongside it because they complement each other. It's really exciting. I think it's, it's a great idea to get everybody involved and everybody to care about what's going on. Our correspondent Jeremy Cook is at a wind farm in South Oxfordshire. Jeremy. I think it's a really good idea to invest in a project like this. Which, by the way, was built by a cooperative of local people. The two Westville cooperatives together have about sort of 3,000 members. Roughly 40% of them live within a 25 kilometer radius of this wind farm. So it truly is their wind and solar park. It was also, we think at the time, the largest community owned solar farm in the world. Only right that I should give you the very first opportunity to participate <laughs> in what we believe will be the world's largest cooperatively owned solar farm. We're situated about 10 miles east of Swindon. It's rural England, but it's a place of actually surprising energy poverty in pockets, both rurally and in some of the towns. So what we try with our community benefit funding is to try and help some of those particular uh, needs. We have just reached a huge milestone of one million pounds that we have now donated to various community causes predominantly locally. The most rewarding part of Westmore for me is actually meeting the people we deal with on a daily basis and, and seeing a difference that it makes to them in their daily lives. One of the things we really struggle with here is a lot of people see development of renewables as being something somebody else does and something they don't get any benefit from. And at last we've got projects coming forward where actually the locals can benefit and they can be part of it. The future of Westville, I think, is, is very positive. We've had 17,500 people actually visit the site since we've been up and running. There is a new generation of school children who were partly involved with naming it, who want to get involved. They appreciate the enormity of the climate crisis and they want to do something about it. The solar and wind farm together generate enough power for about 4,500 households. So our job is to actually make this system work and help it pass it on to the next generation. It makes me feel hopeful for the future.